now turn to the external sector. With lower trade deficit, robust services export growth and strong remittances, the current account deficit is expected to have moderated in Q4 2023-24. Services exports were predominantly driven by software exports. Other business services and travel uh, services exports were predominantly driven by software exports, other business services and travel exports. The phenomenal rise in global capability centers, that is GCCs, in India has provided a significant boost to India's software and business services exports. India, with an expected 15.2% share in world remittances in 2024, continues to be the largest recipient of remittances globally. Overall, the current account deficit for the current year, that is 2024-25, is expected to remain well within its sustainable level. On the external financing side, foreign portfolio investment, that is FPI flows, surged in 23-24, with net FPI inflows of around of, uh, US dollar 41.6 billion. Since the beginning of 2024-25, however, foreign portfolio investors have turned net sellers in the domestic market with net outflows of US dollar 5 billion till June 5. In 2023, India retained its position as the most attractive destination for greenfield foreign direct investment, that is greenfield FDI in Asia and Pacific. Gross FDI remained robust in 23-24, but net FDI moderated. External commercial borrowings, that is ECBs and non-resident deposits, recorded high net inflows as compared with the previous year. The amount of ECB agreements also grew markedly during the year. Now, I have given the relevant data in the footnotes. Now, touching a new milestone, touching a new milestone, India's foreign exchange reserves reached a historical high of US dollar 651.5 billion as on 31st May. India's external sector remains resilient and the key external vulnerability indicators continue to improve. Overall, we remain confident of meeting our external financing requirements comfortably.